Another day, another fresh and fit L. I'm dead! By the way, if you're a brokey in the chat, I'll call you a brokey just because you don't want to support. That's understandable. What I will say, though, is like when you see the value in the Castle Club, you're like, damn, you know what? Yeah. I need to be a part of that. Your motivation pushed me to start and grow my business. I appreciate you guys. That's what we're talking about, bro. Brokey, shout out to you, see Avery. Notice how the guys that make money don't complain about the Castle Club. It's the important. Calling your fans brokey is crazy. Calling a fan a brokey because they don't want to pay you. The boys released a video saying the end of Fresh and Fit, we quit. The beef between Fresh and Fit and these guys right here is crazy. At this point, I want to see them put gloves on and go at it. There's a lot of people that have made videos on Fresh and Fit, but these two they mean business. Like, ah, but why are you saying that like you're happy, like you're praying for their downfall? It's because I am. So, <laughs> um, we ended up getting demonetized, right, guys? And as you guys know that, we got demonetized August of last year. Sucky situation. Um, but Rumble had our back. As you guys know, we scaled up the podcast to a certain point where we're at a certain level where we have bring a certain quality to the show. Chris brings you guys new girls every show. There's a lot of moving parts, right? We have a, a team probably of around, what, 20 people, I would say? In an ideal world, would I love to just give you guys all the free content we could? Of course, bro. I would love to do it. But at the end of the day, guys, it's a business. We got people that we got to take care of. And we got to we gotta um, support Rumble. A part of the after hours will go on Castle Club, guys. Right? Uh, but we're going to make it affordable for you guys. We, we lowered the price down to 17 bucks uh, per month. If you get in now for the next 48 hours, you're going to go ahead and have that forever. Your grandfather in. Yep. Because we're going to raise the price, actually, from 17 to 35 after Wednesday. And the reason for that... So now they're going to put you behind a paywall at 35 bucks a month for mm. them to yell at the whores and be like, you're dumb. Who wants to pay 35 bucks a month? There's a couple of people. Well, the fans are not happy with it. They in the comment section just ripping them apart. You fucking lied to us. You said you would never go behind a paywall, etc., etc. Yeah, but they, they have no choice. Mm. It's easy to say we'll never go to behind a paywall when you have options. If you was agreeing with the stuff that they were doing a couple months ago, they knew that you guys liked that type of content, so they kept on giving y'all what y'all wanted. Hey, you shouldn't complain if you got to pay for their consequences. A part of the reason why they got demonetized on YouTube was giving y'all content that y'all wanted. So for them going up in price... Well, now that's pretty much the only option that they got. And there's no reason to feel sad for them. Because when asked if he regrets it, he said no. Um, in retrospect, are there any regrets in not managing the transition better? Example, mixing the nighttime show with Stewie. You shoot yourselves in the foot by mismanaging. Um, do is, 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 is Any regrets? If you're going to ask me personally, no. No. There, no regrets, man. I got 20 real estate properties so I can tell mother... You! My net worth is over 6 million. I get money residually. I don't... You need to do this shit. I don't need to make a fucking cent off this podcast. I'm fine. My real estate will take care of me so I can sit here and tell you there's right. you. We need you guys to support us on Rumble. If you guys want to support <laughs> this content, I'm not going anywhere. I already know where this was going, bro. This was going to be one of those clips that did not age well. Oh, man. Bro, I'm going to say what the f I'm going to say and I'm going to what anybody got to say. I cannot be bought. Just like we've saved you guys, we need you guys to save us. I have my soul, I have my spine, I have my integrity, I got my ten toes and my two feet, and I stand where I'm gonna stand. <laughs> the fucking editing is crazy. Please give your editor a bonus. And be happy with the man that I see, you pussy mother. You fucking losers that sit there saying, oh, it's getting rocky, man. And then I shut the up. A few moments later. So I left a job that I truly loved to do this, right? Because I should be admitting this, but saving children, right? That was great, but saving you guys is better. Are you really going to quit law enforcement? Yeah, you know, saving children. That's cool. But reminding whores that they're whores? <laughs>
no tissues or clothes. <laughs> Just imagine 30 to 40 years from now, a television show, the crazy things they were doing in the 2020s, or the crazy thing they were doing in the 2010s. I can see Fresh and Fit having a segment, bro. I distinctly remember him saying he doesn't give a shit. He'll do whatever he wants, which is fine. You can do whatever you want, but your employer might fire you. And then when they fire you, you gotta beg for scraps after the fact. Don't think anyone's gonna feel sympathy for you. So you want to be out with your chest out. This is like the OnlyFans girls who do OnlyFans forever, and then they're like, oh, I'm mentally fucked up. This is the same thing. This is the idiot who thinks he could get away with saying anything and doing anything. Then he gets fired. Now he's begging for scraps. Facts. And now he feels bad. He's like, well, guys, I can't quit. You know, yeah, I'm financially set, but my employees, you know, who's going to take care of them? We make it look easy, guys, but, like, we have people that work for us that legit have a need and depend on us. Yeah. And if it wasn't for this current platform right now, they wouldn't eat. Neither do kids. You should have thought of that before you were an idiot on camera. That's true. See what happens when you're a leader? You have other people you have to take responsibility for. But because you want to be goofy on screen, you cost all of them their potential salary with this move. And a lot of the fans are not going to translate over to your paywall, and justifiably so. This whole idea that we do content for free. At any day, bro, if you don't want to support, it's fine. Yeah, you don't have but, to. But support as well. But don't sit there and cause fucking money grabbers when we've been doing this shit for free for three fucking plus years, giving you guys content, and we're still going to continue to give you content for free. The content we do is not for free. Yeah, Your fans, not. my fans, everyone who is a viewer, they're paying. Facts. One hundred percent. They're paying for their time. They're paying for the viewership of the ads. They're paying. They're paying. They're paying Facts. either through YouTube Premium, Facts. which means that goes to you. That's not free. Or they're paying through ad time, which is the advertisers basically being able to sell them products. So they end up paying for the products in the long run. Everybody pays for these content. There's nobody who's not paying. There's no such thing as free content. And everybody has a boss. Your motivation pushed me to start, bro. I am just starting to think of YouTube as a business. I have a hard time promoting. I have a hard time even promoting my hoodies. I have a whole five store. I sell hoodies and I barely promote them. Or if I'm reacting to a video and I'm not feeling it, I'm not going to put it out because I need content for that day. I would rather sacrifice a day of uploading instead of sacrificing how genuine the content is. Now, that makes me sound like a saint, but... It's not a smart business move. The reason why it's not a smart business move because YouTube is based on watch time hours. The higher your watch time hours, the more YouTube suggests your videos. Me choosing that one sick day could set me back a few hundred hours of watch time. And now I'm left for the rest of the month playing catch up. And I'm not gonna lie, I take a lot of sick days because based on the content that I react to, you know, sometimes, bro, it'd be stressful. They're paying through ad time, which is the advertisers basically being able to sell them products. So they end up paying for the products in the long run. Everybody pays for these content. There's nobody who's not paying. There's no such thing as free content. And everybody has a boss. Your motivation pushed me to start and grow my business. I appreciate you guys. That's what we're talking about, bro. Broke you. Shout out to you, C. Avery. Notice how the guys that make money don't complain about the Castle Club. It's the fucking poor man. By the way, if you're a broke in chat, I'll call you a brokey because you don't want to support. That's understandable. What I will say though is like when you see the value in the castle club, you're like, damn, you know what? Yeah. I need to be a part of that. He called them brokies. Brokey. <laughs> Calling someone a brokey when you you just ask them to please pay for my staff. Calling your fan a brokey is crazy. Calling a fan a brokey because they don't want to pay you to, for you to pay your fan. Because you can't pay your fans yourself. I is crazy. I distinctly remember these guys and so many other red pill dudes ripping Pokemon apart because she said that about her fans about her cookies. You remember that? Yes, yes, yes. While fresh and fit, just pearly things and every the loser in the red pill space are taking L's. Again! We want you guys to get some W's with today's sponsor, Sir uh -huh. <laughs> they got sponsorships. Is yeah, it <laughs> I gotta work on my sponsorship negotiating skills. I have so many unread emails of people wanting to um, either sponsor a video, get promotion for a product, or you know, just collab. And I haven't been responding to them. That's a whole nother side of YouTube that I gotta get better with. To be quite honest with you. 
I'm just starting to really look at this as a business. But I don't want to go too far into where I'm turning on my damn subscribers. Like, you can't turn on people because <laughs> they're not donating. Times is hard. It kept coming up in a negative way Bro. in the eyes of YouTube. You don't, they don't even see that. They see it's really, no, nah, man, it's freedom of speech. You see that. So I don't even think I, they, I don't think they even see that they're doing the same thing. But whatever. Freedom of speech. But isn't it these guys who did the copyright strikes? Yes. And fa falsely just hundreds. Yes. Trying to get a bunch of channels deleted because yes. they didn't like what the channels were saying. Funny, if you guys get, you go to these guys' chats and you're critical of them, they just censor you. You can't even be critical of them in their chat. I've been advised by a bunch of people. Let's move on. I should start banning you, hater. So we should just start banning y'all, honestly. Because you guys are paid to come in and purposely hate what we got going on. To Because I've been preached, paid you, or Ethan and Decline paid y'all to come in and talk shit. And you guys are doing that. And at that point, it's not even free speech. I'm just coming in to talk shit. The hater is no deserve free speech. So it's all funny to me that the people who yap on and yap about freedom of speech and blah, 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 you appear behind the curtain and they are just as authoritative as other groups. They will shut you down if they don't like what you're saying. It, it costs a lot to run to run things the way that we do. Um, it's on the low end. It's 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 costly. So you want to know what the low end is? <laughs> it's costly. Yes. 70K a month is what they pay. Seven, a month? Well, considering how many people they have employed under them, it makes sense. It makes sense. You know how much these guys were making a month? Back at the height of... Go ahead. 225 A month? Yep. Yeah. They were raking in huge profits, you know what I mean? They're making close to six figures each every single month. So they're probably making a lot of money, right? Good. Demonetization happens. Everything disappears. They're not making no... They're making pennies on Rumble. Mm. They went from being in the green by a lot... To now, they're in the red every single month by, you know, a pretty large margin. And now they're feeling the pressure. So all the people at home who say, oh, demonetization doesn't work. It's, yeah. That's not been my experience. Having spoken to people who have been demonetized. It's either A, we just stop doing the podcast all fucking together. Or we uh, put stuff behind a paywall and we could continue things as, as we were doing. Losing close to like, I would say, 75, sometimes to 60% of their total income. And even when they go behind a paywall, yeah, they might transfer a, a substantial amount of their fan base depending on the fans. But the other thing is, they're no longer being recommended by any of the algorithms. Mm. So they no longer go viral on YouTube. They no longer are in the talking space for a lot. That's why you see this guy doing all these collabs. He's feeling the effects of the poor decisions he's made. So now he's trying to recoup it any way he can. Mm. So... I'm not saying demonetization is a good or a bad thing. That's not the point. I'm just speaking specifically to the people who think it doesn't work. You're wrong. It does work. Okay? And no matter how much these people say they're in it for the message, the truth is they're here for the money. Anyway, I'm not going to watch this whole video. Um, Y'all can go see it in its entirety on Abbe and Preach's channel. Um, shout out to them, though, bro. And really... I don't never want to knock nobody for how they get any money. So I hope Fresh and Fit figure out a way to get some bread. I hope they can bounce back from this. You know, maybe... Maybe have like a peace treaty with the rest of YouTube, man.